Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yusuf Shakil, and in this video, we are going to learn about the sum method. So let's get started. We use the sum method to loop over the elements of an array and return true if at least one of the element of the array satisfies the given condition. If none of the elements satisfy the given condition, then we get false. All right, let's look at an example. Let's say we have an array and it contains integer values. Let's say one, three, five, eight, nine. Now, we want to find if this array contains at least one even number. If it contains at least one even number, we should get true. Otherwise, we should get false. And to achieve that, we can use either for loop and we can have a flag. So it would be something like the following. We would have, let's say, let found even that is going to be false initially. And then a for loop not found even I plus plus and we want to check if the current element is even and if it is even then we can safely say found even is equal to true and then we can console log found even. So what we are trying to do is we are going to loop over this array and we also have this flag which says found even. So as long as we have not found an even value, we are going to keep looking into the array elements. And as soon as we get an even number, we are going to change this flag found even to true. So as soon as we do that, we are no longer going to iterate over the array or check the other elements of the array after that. And we are going to exit out of this for loop and print the value. So if we look at this example array, one is not even, so we will move to three, which is also not even, so we'll go to five which is also not even, we'll go to the next element, which is eight. Eight is going to give us true value for this condition. So we are going to set found even as true. And since found even is now set to true, we are no longer going to check nine. We are simply going to get out of this for loop and we are going to print found even as true. So if we run this code, we get found even as true. All right. Now, if we want to simplify this code, we can use sum method. So if we are going to use the sum method, our code is going to look like the following. Found even is equal to r dot sum and let's say each element of the array is getting represented with v and we want to check if the current element represented by v is odd or even so we can either write something like this return v 
mod two is zero. If this is true, then it means V is even and we have an even number in the array. Or we can just simplify this one and make it something like this. And now if we run the code, we get the same result found even true. All right, guys, we have reached the end of another tutorial in this series. I hope you will find it interesting. And if you do, then please subscribe my channel, click that bell icon and like this videos. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.